welcome to MMB Airgun Review. Today we're going to start a little lesson on how to maybe approach teaching your child gun safety. Maybe the steps where to start and some reactions from a child. My daughter, Buggy. Say hi, Buggy. Hello. Wave to him. Say hi. Hi. Um, who is not familiar with guns or at least not familiar with handling them and needs to know this. She's at the age where she needs to know the safety aspects and um, know not to touch them and what to do if she is trained to use them. So we're going to go down this little journey and um, you're going to experience this kind of as I am with my daughter and uh, maybe it's the reactions you might get from your child or we'll see what scenarios pop up. But we're going to teach the basics. And remember, they learn through repetition. But always be very cautious and supervise them very well because gun safety is very important. And not only for them, it's very important for you. And you may find that you learn while trying to teach your child, you may learn something that, or remember something that you might have forgot along the way because, well, we love our kids very much. And something that uh, may hurt them, we may realize might hurt us. Um, Buggy, do you know what this is called? A handgun? Yes, it is a handgun. And are you familiar with some of the parts on a handgun? Or on this particular one, if you've seen Daddy use it? Um, Let's still put it this way. Do you know what this is called? The trigger. That is the trigger. And what do, do you know... Um, what should we never do? Put a finger on the trigger. Until you're ready to use it. We never put our finger on the trigger unless we're ready to use it. That is correct. And what is the dangerous part of the gun? Um, the end of the gun. The end of it. Because what comes out of there? Bullets. Yes, exactly. And they're, can, they, they're very powerful, correct? Okay. Now, this is a safety under here. Okay, so I'm going to actually take this off so we can use this, but normally you'd want the safety on. But when we approach teaching a child about the gun, we always want to handle the gun with the safety on. But we're going to go beyond that a little bit, and we're going to teach some different aspects into some different parts. Buggy, do you know what this is called? A magazine. A magazine. And what goes in the magazines? Bullets. That is right, bullets. Now, if a magazine is out of the gun, does that make the gun safe? No. No. Why? Do you know why that is? There might be a, a bullet trapped inside. There still might be a bullet in the chamber. That is correct. And do you know what you have to do? Now, most people, most children aren't going to know what to do. You Yes, you rack the gun. And so if we have our magazine out, we need to check and make sure that there's no round in the gun so we don't have an accidental discharge, correct? Okay, so that's what Daddy's going to do right now. We're going to cycle it, and then Daddy's going to look, and we're going to make sure that it's clear and there's nothing in there, okay? So Daddy knows the gun is safe, but we're going to still treat this gun like it is... You know how we're going to treat it, even though I know there's nothing in it. Where how are we going to treat it? Like there's bullets. Inside. Like there's still bullets inside. That is correct. So we're going to handle it safely, and that is the repetitious part that we want to ingrain the most. Always make sure you're handling any firearm, BB gun, pellet gun, air rifle, whatever it is. Treat it like it's loaded. Okay, so. I call that a safety inspection. We're inspecting the gun to make sure there's no rounds in it so nobody gets hurt and there's no accidental discharge, okay? Now, what do we never do with the trigger ever until we're ready to use it? Press the trigger. Yes, we never put our finger on the trigger until we are ready to use it. Now, that's a common sense thing that a lot of people just don't do. Um, they think the finger is supposed to be on the trigger at all times, and simply that is very dangerous, and a lot of accidents happen that way. So, buddy, let me um, familiarize you a little bit more. Do you know what this part, that in this particular, this is a Springfield Armory XDM. This is a training gun. So, this actually shoots BBs, and it is an exact replica of the Springfield Armory XDM. And it's very good for teaching your children gun safety. 
and different aspects of gun. And it pretty much has all the parts on it that you need to teach them gun safety and do it safely, which is amazing. Do you know what this part right back here is called? back strap back strap safety that is correct and and what that does is when you're ready to shoot or fire the gun your hand has to be pressed into this for it to shoot okay mm -hmm. and there's also what i like to call a trigger safety and that's right here because when you pull that back it, it doesn't allow you to pull the trigger until you reach the next phase so you know you don't have any any doubt that you're about to pull the trigger and then there's a there's also a safety up underneath here okay so why do we rack the gun why do we pull the gun back to make sure it's clear to make sure it's clear she's a quick one she's got this all right so daddy's gonna do that now there's a way that you can lock this slide back too if you want to um this is very important too now i'm gonna suggest this when you're teaching your kid child safety with guns you want to pull it back we've already made sure it's clear pull it back lock your slide so now we know the gun is open there's no bullets in it and you can see, right, Buggy, you can see in there. There's nothing in there. No bullet, no bullet down through. Okay. Where's the business end of the gun? Where does all the action take place, the danger zone? In the front. In the front. And what comes out of the front? Bullets. Bullets, that's right. What would happen if we accidentally put our hand in front of the gun and accidentally discharged the gun? It may shoot. It would shoot and probably blow your hand off. That's right. So that's the danger, danger zone. Now... There's things that can happen when you're teaching your child gun safety. Never teach them with a loaded gun ever. You want to make sure they're very, very acclimated with a gun before any, any ammo ever goes into a gun. And I mean acclimated because it's very, very important. And of course, we'd never start, I would never start my daughter who was seven years old out with a 45 for sure. But a BB gun, a pellet gun, definitely will get there, and that's where they're going to start because they need to learn the basics before they can move on. And does anybody ever master a gun or a weapon? Um, no. No. Do you know why? The, the gun masters you. The gun is the master. That is right. The gun is always the master, and you should treat it like it's the master with respect because on any given day, accidents can happen. So always be aware that the gun is the master and not you. All right. So, Buggy, this is the slide. We got the slide back, and Daddy's going to let the slide. This is called a slide release right here. And we're going to show everybody. This is the slide release. And what does a slide release do? Um, if I push down the slide release, what will happen? It makes the slide go forward. It releases it. See? Okay, but what else just happened when I released the slide? What happened? What did the gun do when I released it? Cleared it. No, it did not clear what? it. Nope. See, we want to teach them. No, it did not clear it. What it did was cock it. Pulling it back would clear it. Pushing it, pulling it, um, hitting the slide release and having it go forward would actually put a bullet, if the magazine was in it, into the chamber. So the action of going back is what would put the bullet in if the magazine was there. That's why this little pin is right here in the back sticking out, okay? Mm -hmm. And isn't that a nice little feature that you have on these that you know when a gun is cocked because the firing pin is part of the firing pin is out? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a really neat feature and this is why this is a good gun to start teaching your child with. Because we're gonna get into this in a second, okay? So, we're gonna learn a proper grip. Okay, now you see how daddy's talking, but my hand never goes in front of the gun. I don't know if you can see on camera. My hand never goes in front of the gun because we never want our hands in front of the gun. So even just make sure you're doing that with your child. You're demonstrating that your hand is never going in front of the gun because, well, frankly, it happens a lot, especially when a kid starts using the slide and they start grabbing towards the front of the gun. So we always want they always want to be aware not to grab the gun in the front of the barrel Kind of, I, I like them to take a center grip or a back grip, personally, being a kid until they're acclimated. But front, danger zone, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Especially if they accidentally have their hand on the back strap and the trigger while they are 
pulling a slide back. It, it's an extremely da dangerous scenario, and we don't need those accidents for sure. Or an accidental discharge in the wrong direction or somebody coming in to, to the scene, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to work on a grip. I want to get you familiar with holding the gun. You know the parts of the gun, and we're going to go over them every day. We'll go over them and over them, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what Daddy does, I put my hand on the, on the grip. I put my finger on the side, okay? And as you can see, this is kind of a natural feeling right here, okay? But I do something a little different, particularly with these guns, but I, this is something that I've learned. I don't ever go have my hand even into the back strap safety to push it into fire. What I do is I like to put my thumb on the back of the gun, and there's, well, there's a reason for that. Because right away with this particular model, I know if this gun is cocked because, well, there's not a pin sticking out. So I know it's not. So subconsciously I go, well, that's not, that's not cocked. And we need to do that. And I'm not going to have an accidental discharge because my hand's not on the safety back, the backstrap safety. So I know this automatically. When I do cock the gun and pull the slide back and my hand goes up, it's still not on the backstrap safety, but I can feel that pin and go, oh, it's cocked. So a warning sign goes up all the ready. You know, all, I know I'm ready to shoot the gun. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do, Buggy, is I'm, if you're comfortable with this, I'm going to have you pick up the gun. Yes. Okay. But I need you to get a proper grip on it because you can't control it with your grip right there. There you go. See that? And comfort is something that's hard for a kid to do because, well, Frankly, frankly, it's a scary experience for a child to pick up a gun and start learning right away. It takes, you know, time, a little bit of an experience, right? Mm -hmm. But if you'll notice what she's doing, is she's not pushing in on the back strap safety and her finger is off the trigger. Very important, not on the trigger, right? Mm -hmm. And very important that we don't point the end of it at anybody mm -hmm. or anything that can get damaged, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Do you know the proper technique to hold? I think you've watched Daddy before. Do you know the proper technique to hold the gun to shoot the gun? Okay, now, yes, but now we're, pick, a, pick a target on the wall over there. Do you know how to use the sights with both eyes open? And you line this up, bring it down in front of your eyes. And these two dots right here and this fiber optic, that, and we want to keep our trajectory flat, which means the top of this and the top of these should be level. And you can see it in between. Now, does that feel comfortable? Yep. Okay. Now, is this thumb up? I want you to put this thumb up a little bit. And this is your balancing hand. So this is going to be your shooting hand. And this is the arm. This is where your recoil will come through mostly is this hand because this is the hand that has the main grip. This is our balancing hand underneath. And what that does is it helps us maintain balance of the gun and keep us on target. It's a rest, just like using a bench rest or a table. This is what this hand is, is, is attempting to do. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate this. So I'm here, and this is, this is there's many grips, but this is the technique that works for me, and I think this works for, for children the best because of their smaller hands. So I come up underneath, and a lot of opinions vary on this. So I come up underneath, and I grip here, and my thumb comes up to the side. I like to take an over thumb grip on this side, that's just me, but I'm here, okay? And my recoil comes through this arm. I don't extend it out like this. You see this happen and you get that boom. Well, there's no the energy doesn't get transferred back and the muzzle of the gun comes back. And if you guys, if you're using a big power gun like a um, Desert Eagle, bad things happen when you do that, right? You've all seen these videos, right? Boom, and they come back up and smack you in the forehead. That's why we don't shoot that way. So underhand grip here, okay? Get your head lined up, get your muzzle lined up, fiber optics on, and if you notice, both eyes are open. Why are both eyes open? Why am I not doing this? Well, because it's not proper. It's not a proper technique to shoot with one eye shut. Um, if you got two eyes, use them. Focus in on the center. Now, the main thing for that, the main reason for that is safety. Because with both eyes open, what do we do with both eyes open? You might not be able to answer this if you got both eyes open. Um, I, don't know. I got an idea. Can you shut one eye for me? All right. Do you see very well with one eye shut everything that's in front of you? Yeah. 
No. Okay, open both eyes. You see good now? Yeah. Okay, you can see everything. Your peripheral will pick up to the left and to the right. If someone's coming into the scene in front of you, left or right, you're able to pick it up with both eyes open. I can grab this, focus it, boom, get my sights on, but also be aware through peripheral, left and right, if there's any danger coming in, somebody's going to walk in front of the muzzle. And, and that's important. And you'll become a better shooter if you're shooting with both eyes open. Definitely. Um, target acquisition is a lot clearer than, than trying to... This isn't dark. You're not drunk. You know, so... So, uh, you know, this is... this. A lot of people do this and they try to get right on target. But you do not need to. You can go right on target. And another thing that's important... And this is something that you'll learn later on. And this isn't really part of the gun safety aspect. But with, with your finger here, guns shoot where you point. Meaning, if you're point if you're pointing here, and your finger's pointing out, you probably you got a good target acquisition just on where your finger is pointing. So that, believe it or not, your finger being on the side of the gun actually helps you acquire your target quickly. Um, so we're gonna move on to racking the gun. We've covered this grip, the underhand grip, and now we're gonna practice racking the gun. And do you remember what racking the gun is? Yeah. Pull back the slide. I'm gonna let you do that. Remember, gun safety, finger off the trigger, nice grip, yep. So I want you to grab, yes, and pull it back. Boom, okay, okay, but made a mistake, and that's okay. She did make a mistake, and her finger automatically, after she racked it, started, she didn't do it, but started going for the trigger. These are the things we want to look out for when we're teaching our children to make sure we always remind them that this finger stays here. Never, You'd never want the finger to even creep towards the trigger, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is wrecked. And do you see this right here? Yes. Okay. So remember that safety thing I told you? And if you feel that, you know it's cocked and ready to shoot, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I want you to put your hand back here and you got to get a nice firm grip and you can, I want you to get your grip underneath. Yes. Like you'd regularly shoot it nice and put it out like you're going to hit a target on the wall. Well, no, not in like that, because what that's going to do is it's going to kick back and hit you in the head. So we need an out, this arm bent, this arm, there you go. Just like that is proper. Now, do you see your sights here? Yep. Okay. When you are ready, I want you to gently put your finger on the trigger, but you have to be into the back strap safety to shoot this, remember? Mm -hmm. Gently put your finger on the trigger, line up your sights, Okay. And breathe out gently and make sure to breathe and pull the trigger gently until it's called breaking. Yep. Now pull it. Perfect. That was great. How did that feel? Uh, nice. It nice but a little scary yeah. too? Right. Okay. And this is the repetition part. They should be nervous because, well, it's honestly, it's hard to learn proper technique. Now, would you like to try that again? Yes. Okay. So what's the first thing we want to make sure? Finger not on the, do you see what you did right there again? It happens repeatedly. This is why I can't stress this enough, is the, 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 something mentally wants to make a child go for the trigger right away. Well, because well, it's a natural movement. So we want to program that movement to not be the natural movement. We want this finger on the side to be the natural movement. So finger on the side, you have to rack the gun. Remember, it will not shoot. No. Remember, in the room. that's okay. So I want you a firm grip. So I'm going to teach you something, okay? You can do your firm grip, and you can do it here. And you can grip. Put your thumb. Put your thumb here. Now pull it hard. There we go. There we go. And this is a hard one. Okay. So arm out like this. One bent. Yes. Okay. Now when you're ready, you can put your finger on the trigger, and you feel your first trigger. Yep. Okay, pull it back to all that, and then get ready to shoot it. Perfect. Now, take your finger off the trigger as soon as you're done. Okay, now there's no magazine in this. Now, say we're at the range, and we're shooting, and you will be shooting with Daddy soon. So, we're shooting, and you think you're done, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you take your magazine out. You take your magazine out, and I'm actually going to have you do that, okay? Now, this gun is unloaded, but I'm going to have you take your magazine out. This is called a mag release, okay? So we have our hand on the gun, finger on the side, and we take our thumb, we put our hand under, mm -hmm. and we push this button. 
and it catches the magazine. And we take our magazine out. Button. Okay, so I'm going to insert it. Mm -hmm. This button right here, and this is actually an ambi gun, so it has it on each side. So if you can't hit this one with your thumb, you can tap it with this finger, but not never touch the trigger again, okay? Mm -hmm. And you put your hand under the gun, and it's a little weighty, it's a little heavy, and it falls out. So I'm going to have you feel the weight of this that you're going to expect. You want to get yeah. them used to different yeah. things like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm going to pop that in. I'm going to let you pick up the gun. It's going to notice it's a lot heavier. Finger does not go near the trigger at all. Put one hand underneath. Hit that button right here. Push, press the button. No, the button's right here, honey. See, right? There's the button. Now push that in hard. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that would be, and it's hard. You've got to get used to it. For me, it's easy. Been doing it for years. This is a kid that's never done any of this. So this is kind of what you would expect. But now, what did I say? The gun's still not safe, right? Mm -hmm. We need to clear this. So we need to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to make sure, we want to make sure that the gun is cleared. Can you grab it, wipe your hands off, make sure they're good, not greasy? Or, and I'm going to let you pick it up again. Once again, pick it up. And I want you to go chicka, 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 chicka. Like it's one of your toys. There you go. But not a toy. Beautiful. Now, do you see how they did that? She did that. Now, if you noticed, the first time she did it, she was struggling. Well, that's because she didn't know where the tension was coming from. But when I told her to go, well, she knew she had to grab it a little bit harder, right? Mm -hmm. So you really could have did this the first time. You just were a little scared to. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what we did, now on the last one, hold open. Okay? Mm -hmm. But what I want you to do is to see this button right here? Push this up, and that'll keep that open, and then you can lay it down. And then when we lay our gun down, we know that the chamber is clear. We can clearly see inside of it, and nobody's going to come along, think it's unloaded, grab it, and pull the trigger and have an accident. Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, well, this button right here, we're going to pull this back. Okay, I'm going to pull the slide back, and this goes up. And that just simply locks the slide into place. Okay, okay? so I'll let you do that. I'm going to do your... Yep, pull it back. Yep, hard. Okay, but make sure you're not pointing the gun at, and you want to make sure you're doing it away from yourself. Now take this, you can take this and put it up. It goes up just like that. And that's something we can learn a little bit later. We'll get them used to this later. It's, it's already locked up there. Okay, never put your fingers in that port. Another thing too, I'm glad actually that you did that so I could show them. Make sure your kids don't put your finger in the ejection port because if they release that slide, it comes back with quite a bit of tension and you're going to get a finger caught in there. And that's not good either, right? <laughs> if there's a bullet in there, you're going to... Well, we just, don't, we just don't want our fingers in there for sure. We just want to be safe for sure. Okay, so I know it's clear. Now, that's why we always check our ejection port and we always check our chamber to make sure it's clear because if we're ever at the range and... Billy Joe Bob comes up to me, and I just got through shooting. I just got through shooting, right? Mm -hmm. Billy Joe Bob comes up, and he says, Hey, how you do? How you been? Did you know Aunt Martha's sick? And blah, blah, blah. Well, have a nice day. And I'm chit-chatting, and I think I'm done shooting. I pulled my magazine out. I set the gun down. I think I'm done shooting. Awesome. That's great. Perfect. I take this gun. I put it away, and I forget about it. Or I pop the magazine in and I put it in my holster and I forget about it. Well, what are the odds that maybe on all my rambling and talking and getting distracted that I left around in the chamber? That's the danger. That's why we always, even when we come back to the gun, before we load it, before we do anything with it, check it. Make sure, cycle it a couple times, make sure that it's empty. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is just a, what you might expect when you're starting to teach your child gun safety. I think, Buggy, I think you're going to be kind of a quick learner. Mm -hmm. And we'll get you acclimated to it, right? It's kind of exciting, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, she knows the part. She knows the basics. But we got to keep going over this because she's nowhere near ready. I don't think they're going to be ready overnight at all. And... Uh, I'm going to bring you another gun safety video, this time with my other daughter. We call her Lulu. Say hi, Lulu. Hi. And we're going to do maybe a short little battle rifle and teach him how to use a rifle. 
I'll try to put these this content out a little bit. And that way you get to see them progress and how they progress and what you can expect with teaching your child gun safety. If you like this video, hit like, share, subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you can catch other videos like this. I thought this was a very important video as a parent in teaching your child gun safety. Well, basically because they're all different. We don't know what to expect. So um, remember, most important things, trigger safety, keeping your hands away from the front of the barrel and never pointing at anybody and always keep that gun um, safe and secure where the children can't get it and teach them to, to stay away from them. Stay away until they are, you know, ready and adults and ready to do this on their own, which they're not until they're adults. But gun safety is very important because they need to respect it because accidents do happen. And the more that they're taught, the odds of any danger happening to them. <laughs>